welcome back. I am so excited to be here with you guys today. We're gonna be doing seven modest fashion outfits for summer, hoping that it can give you guys a lot of inspiration, help you on your own modest fashion journey. Just a reminder, all these outfits are based on my personal modest fashion preferences and beliefs, so you guys can take them and make them your own, adapt them to your own personal style and your convictions. I'm just here to give you guys inspiration and hopefully help you guys draw closer to God and reflect God through your dress. I'm gonna be giving you guys some outfits, tweak them to make them your own personal style. I might give suggestions of where I'm gonna wear them and what I would do to mix the outfit up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the video, guys. Okay, so the first outfit I picked out with a wedding in mind. This is a beautiful, bright color for summer. If you want something that's not shiny or sparkly, but you still wanna look really elegant. And I think the style is obviously very modest. It goes all the way down to the floor and it covers all the way to the wrists. Now with this material I have, it's very light, but I would add a slip under it. I prefer a dress slip and it's just gonna be something that's thin and light and airy for summer. You could go ahead and do something a little different. Instead of sparkle, which I think would look wonderful with this pop of color, especially for summer, you could go with another pop of color and kind of do a color blocking sort of thing. I mean, if you look at flowers in the summertime, you notice they have lots of these intense colors together even. And so that's kind of my inspiration for this outfit. I see this as a wedding outfit and I think the colors do a lot of the work for you. To go ahead and add a bow, you could either do more of a monochrome look or maybe add like a contrasting color like yellow or green. Um, I also have headbands. You could do a headband to add a little something extra or you could go simple and elegant. Really love that look, especially when you have kids. It's really nice to just put your hair back, slick back or just something similar to this and just get ready to go. No worries about hair falling in your face or stuff coming off. It's just clean, simple, and beautiful. The summertime is the best time of year to use those bold colors together and for it to not feel like too much. Okay, ladies, the next outfit that I have picked out is beautiful dress of the elastic sleeves on this. And I just think the colors scream summer, brunch, baby shower. That's kind of what I had in mind when I picked this dress out, a baby shower, or brunch with the girls. I mean, this dress could be for church, it could be for anything, but I love, love how feminine it is. I love the little ruffles. And you guys, I've worn this with a blazer before. If you've watched my YouTube shorts, you've probably seen it before. I've worn this with like a navy blazer. If you guys are into neutrals, you could definitely wear it with like a tan or taupe blazer, something like that. And you can always mix it up and make it casual as well. I also see myself wearing wedges with this. It'd be really fun to wear it like a straw hat or something. It's just very girly and feminine and this could be used for so many different summer things. It does not go all the way down to the floor. It definitely goes below the knee. So for my personal preference, it's perfect, it's flowy, it's airy, and it's aligned. Wearing this with a cardigan as well, maybe like a light summer knit cardigan would be really cute with this if you didn't want a blazer or maybe you're not a blazer person. And if you wanted a little extra coverage or you wanted to add a little styling, that could be really cute. Like cream, blue, green, even like a gray would be really cool. This next outfit I picked out, I switched the outfit up a little bit last minute. I had originally got a striped shirt for you guys, and I was gonna pair it with this skirt, black and white stripe, but I felt like I needed to do something a little different to give you guys some more variety because this is more of a styling video. I want you guys to know that you can do more than just put a shirt, put a skirt, like you can mix it up. So what we have here is this beautiful tool blue skirt. I'm in love with this one. This is just, oh, it just screams feminine. It screams girly and I'm loving this right now. And the next pieces I have is I just put a t-shirt. I ordered some shirts and I have a video coming up for you guys of some basics, but right now I have this basic shirt. I would not usually wear something that has a pocket unless I knew it was really gonna cover it up. Hopefully I'll have some more options for you guys in the future for this kind of layering situation. Put a t-shirt underneath and this is a black and white blazer. And to me, this kind of gives, I don't know, this gives Parisian vibes, but you're doing it with the blazer. And I feel like that just elevates the look. 
I could see wearing this to church. The good thing about stripes, especially black and white, is that they are good year round. So if you buy black and white stripe pieces, they're gonna be good throughout each season, but I feel like they especially pop with color during the summer. I think the obvious thing to wear with this blazer and skirt is a pair of heels, but if you wanna get a little interesting with it and you're not a heels girly, loafers are a fun take on dressy meets casual and it can really look good with blazers still, but it's not as casual as a tennis shoe. You could always go with the neutral loafer as well if that's more of your style. I could see black or even like a white loafer would look really cute with this outfit. Guys, I feel like this screams summer to me. It's got the palm leaves, I believe it's palm leaves, and it's got those turquoise deeper blues as well as some bright yellows with this beautiful green. I think that green as the base for me really toned it down, but it still has black in it, which I know there's a, a lot of people out there who just are into wearing black and that's what they're most comfortable. This could be a fun little piece to mix up your wardrobe. Say you have a strapless dress, this would be really fun to layer. I could see if you had like a black dress underneath, you could definitely belt this. So if you have a skirt, you could tuck it in or you could belt it and let the, the shirt hang over the black skirt. Um, I love this. I love that it cups here. So if you raise your arms, you're not seeing up your armpit. That's my personal preference. I don't like my shirts to be gaping if they are a little bit above my elbow. Um, that's my personal preference, but I love the puff sleeves. It's super girly. It's super in right now. I actually got this from Worthington, which is, I believe, a JC Penney's brand, or maybe JC Penney's just really carries it. I got this years ago, but I will say, before all this modest fashion stuff blew up, JCPenney's was one of the places I shopped for stuff. I shopped Worthington a lot, the brand, for dressy skirts or for like business casual looks. I haven't checked it out in a while. This got my wheels turning, so I need to go check it out and see if I can find some skirts for you guys, some outfits on Worthington. If you're more of a workplace lady, a teacher, work in business, this to me could definitely be business worthy, but still look professional and fun. So I love this shirt and you guys, if you want to get crazy with it, you could definitely pair it with a headband. Ignore that little string y'all. Just to give it something else and it would still go with like that darker vibe. You could pull out any of those colors. Even do this with like a gray jean skirt or like a neutral skirt at the bottom instead of black if you like a brighter look with these shoes. But I could even see you wearing wedges with this and that would look really, really cute. You guys know when you go online and you see something and you're like, I shouldn't, I'm not going to, but it's like one of a kind. Oh, I could wear this with so many outfits and it's so me. That's this piece. If you aren't following the Valley Collective on Instagram, you need to go do so. Her style very much overlaps with my style as well. So when she posts these pieces, you guys, it takes everything in me to be like, you need to calm down. You cannot be, mm -mm, don't, nope. But I did allow myself to get one piece and I am in love with it. It has these pinstripe sleeves that have green going through the pink. And then this vest type style is actually built in. So for the summer months, you don't have to worry about being overheated and feeling like you're gonna pass out from a heat stroke because you have 20 layers on. So this also, ties and makes a bow in the back, which I love. Again, it has the puff sleeves, which are really huge right now. And I'm just in love. Okay, and you guys, I went ahead and decided to pair it with this skirt from the Skirt Society, I believe. I've had this skirt for a while now, guys. Like, as you can tell, this skirt is well loved. I'm sorry it's wrinkly, I air dried it <laughs> and I did not iron it, but this I think is so fun because I feel like when you see this shirt, your brain automatically goes dressy, but I love to pair things that are supposed to be like one end of the spectrum with things that are on the other end of the spectrum, dressy and casual meet together and it just creates such a fun look. I feel like this gives really preppy vibes, girly vibes, femininity. If you wanted to have a cleaner look, you could just have a skirt that does not have a raw edge hem, but I really like this skirt. This one fits me really well, and I don't have to worry about it being too fitted on my bottom, especially because this shirt is more of a baby doll cropped top, cropped style. 
I have not actually tried this shirt on, you guys. I will be showing you guys what it looks like. I just got it in last night, I believe. Yes, last night. To put these colorful sandals with it. You guys, if it's too much for you to have too much stripe and color all going on, you could obviously do something more neutral like this. I also have a pair of brown shoes, you guys, they're broken. There's a hole in them, but I'm still holding on to them because I love them. I could see you wearing a brown chunky heel with this, like the tan brown chunky heel. Really cute wedges, and this would be, oof, chef's kisses. Now, moving on to the next outfit, I picked out this really beautiful shirt. You guys have probably seen it if you watch my YouTube channel. I've had this for a couple years now, and I really need more in my life. It's one of my favorite color greens. Favorite green colors? Hues of green? I don't know how to say it, guys, but I just love this color green. I feel like it's soft, but it's still really pigmented. I will say for this outfit, I do have to wear a shirt underneath because it is like a really loose knit, but it is very airy and breathable. So that's one of the things that really gives me summer vibes, like summer, beachy, um, almost fishnet. Paired it with this white undershirt. You guys will be seeing an upcoming video. Anyways, this one is very long and flowy, and as you can tell, the back side is a little bit longer than the front, which for me works out really great because you still get that look of, you know, flowy, easy, and it fits most people's body types really well. I will say, you guys, I just got this skirt last night in the mail. It still has a tag on. I got this from Snoga Athletics. They now have pencil skirts available, so I will let you guys know what I think. I am going to try these outfits on for you guys in a sec, so I'm hoping this works out. Um, but even if it's a little more fitted because of the style of the shirt, it will probably cover all the areas that I have concerns on and it will fit the rest of my body, which will be really great for layering if it is a little more fitted. It looks like it's not gonna be see-through like this. You guys have seen the brown sandals I've showed you multiple times now with the sparkles, or I thought it'd be fun to mix the outfit up a little bit, give it a little extra something, something. Add some color, it's summer guys, so we can add some color. If you're a neutral girly, you can wear like brown sandals, or even tennis shoes. Last outfit I'm showing you guys today is what I would consider like an active wear outfit. You can wear it for pickleball. I've worn the skirt to the splash pad with my kids. I do have a swim shirt that I did not pair with this. You can wear it to water stuff. I will say this skirt right here is technically not a swim skirt. So keep that in mind if you end up wearing it to these kinds of things. I wasn't worried about being like fully submerged in water. Snoga Athletics does have swimwear, but this is not a swimwear piece, but I did use it for like that purpose. When I put this outfit together, I'll show you this, the shirt in a second, you guys, but I was kind of picturing, okay, what would I want to wear if I was going to a theme park, if I was going to be riding rides, you know how sometimes they have like the seats come up between your legs and stuff like that. You don't want something getting stuck. This is what I came up with in my head. I do have some sets that have a top and bottom matching together, but this is not one of them. One of the things I love about this skirt, which I know everybody doesn't like this, but I wear shorts underneath all my stuff for modesty purposes. If the wind blows up, if I'm dealing with my kids, that's why I love that this skirt has shorts underneath it. If you're at an amusement park, if you're doing something active, if you're hiking, if you're playing pickleball, you don't have to worry. Having that extra coverage gives me peace of mind. This is a really fun color for summer, you guys. It's super bold, and if you don't want this color like near your face, like it's just too much, you can definitely pair it with a shirt that is a lighter color or a better tone for your face. You could definitely do like a blue shirt with this, or yellow, or pink even, if you're like a pink girly. Um, this color could be super cute together. If I had like an athletic shirt or t-shirt, I would pair that together. I know that they're not exactly matching, but I don't care. I don't care. Think about it. When you have creams together, do all your creams and whites and everything match exactly? No, it's okay. If that's something that bothers you, you can get something that's super contrasting. Maybe you wear a black t-shirt, maybe you wear a white t-shirt. Now, 
This shirt that my husband has is obviously too big for me to wear normally. The sleeves really gape on me, but say you have an oversized t-shirt and you're more of an oversized girly, like I said, I do have sets that are more like fitted or flowy that go more with the styling of that skirt. But say you don't have a top that matches your Snoga skirt or your athletic skirt and you have t-shirts, but you're like, I don't want my arms showing when I lift my arms. Or this is what I did. I went ahead and I got a half tee that I already had. You guys, I will link the half tee stuff. I will link descriptions to anything I can find down below for you guys. But I got my half tee. This one's three quarter length and I think it's the boyfriend style. Obviously, I don't have to worry about the neck, especially if I'm bending down because it's already fitted at the top. The cool thing about half tee, it stops underneath here. So if you want a little extra oomph to bring you in when you're being active, that kind of helps with that, at least, again, for security purposes for me, it just feels comfy. Not having to worry about that as much with the flowy shirt, but say you have a shirt that's more fitted or whatever, having the half tee underneath could be a nice option if you don't want your arms to show, but you don't want a full shirt underneath, especially when you're being active. The half tees are super soft, so I'm not worried about having any rashes or anything. It's really good for the heat and again, it's not covering your whole body, your stomach. You don't have to worry about lines, tucking it into your athletic skirts. Um, this could be super cute if you wanted to make it super flowy since Snoga skirts, um, at least the ones I have, are more like a straight line. It's okay for this to be flowing. You can always take a ponytail and twist it or you can tuck it into the front of your skirt, which is something I usually do. Um, that's my natural go-to is to take a little from the front and tuck it in. If you guys want a modest fashion essentials slash styling essentials video, I could definitely do one of those for you guys. A white scrunchie to tie the white in at the top. If you wanna be really extra with it, do a little high pony or a bun with a scrunchie that could look super cute and that kind of ties the white in sticking out so it doesn't look super ran. You've obviously seen this dress already. I've worn this in other videos as well. It's just a good example of putting on a you know simple patterned dress having a little bow tie or you can leave it flowy even having a little sandal as I've shown you guys already. I have these brown sandals on and I have a dress slip Admittedly, you guys, this dress slip is old and stretched out and I definitely need to upgrade, but I don't want to get rid of it until I buy some new ones. But you guys, I, once I find some dress slips that are great, I'm going to let you guys know because these things have saved me. They're out of commission, like they don't sell them anymore, unfortunately, or I would order more because I have been wearing them for a long time, but they're super soft. Usually they come up to more of here without me having to pull up and I feel like they just saved my life. I don't have to worry about things being sucked to me or ugh, not feeling comfortable. I like not having lines or anything, but you need to get you a slip dress. It's just really wonderful and it goes below my knee. So I don't have to worry about it being too short and coming up when I'm sitting down. I'm gonna try to find some slip dresses for you guys. But what I love about this outfit is that for summer, especially as a mom, it's hot. This outfit is super flowy. Even though there's elastic on it, it's not so you know, tight that it makes you feel constricted. I can like move freely. I can bend, I can stretch. And I feel like I look put together in one piece. That's a hack for you guys. Hack, hack. My suggestions for you guys would be, if you're not great at picking out tops and bottoms, to just get a dress that you like in a simple pattern, even a solid color that you know you're not gonna have to worry about. And then if you wanna personalize it a little more, you can do things like adding a blazer, you can do things like adding headbands or accessories to give it pops of color. I would even put this bow together with this even though there's no pink in here. Back to summer, it's a great time to do contrasting colors, to mix and match colors that you might not normally put together. And you know, just adding a bow can give it a little more personality. Or you can go simple and elegant with a slicked back bun or a soft loose bun and you're ready to go for summer. Dresses like this are also really great to add sandals, tennis shoes, you could even do heels. I've worn this to church with like tan heels, you could do brown. There's so many options with dresses like this. So if you are struggling to figure out where to start, I would suggest starting with dresses. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope this helps you on your modest fashion journey and I hope that you guys can 
feel beautiful and confident in the body that God gave you. If you guys have any questions, I would love to see them in the comments so I can include them in the video and answer any questions you guys might have. I'm so excited. I have more content coming for you guys. I'm trying to get healthy so that I can show up here for you guys a lot more than I have been the last couple weeks. But I am so grateful for everyone that has stuck around. You guys were on our journey to a thousand subscribers. My goal is that if I get to a thousand subscribers that I can get a vlog camera, which will hopefully help increase the quality of my content and quantity of my content as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. I love seeing all the new faces and I love it when you guys comment. I get to connect with you guys a little bit. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye, guys. Oh.